guys, it's me, Program Cuba 17 and today we're going to be doing two Math League Contest again. So we're going to be doing 2006 to 2007, 6th grade questions, and we're going to be doing questions 26 to 30. So our first question, the first two questions are going to be questions that I asked in the last video, and the questions that you guys can put your answers in the comments below. So a circular pool that is 2 meters wide has a circumference of. So we know that wide means diameter. So the diameter would be two meters. And to find circumference, we would do pi times two meters. So our answer would be two times 3.14, because 3.14 is pi. So our answer is B. Our next question is, the square root of 40 times 90 is. So let's first do 40 times 90. So 40 times 90 would get you 3,600. And the square root of 3,600 would be 60, because 60 times 60 will get you 3,600. So our answer will be C. Our next question is, the only prime factor of blank is 2. So we know that, let's first see which numbers can be divided by 3. And if we add all four numbers of every number, and it's divisible, and it's a multiple of 3, it means it will be divisible. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 will get you 8. 8 is not divisible by 3. But A is divisible by 11. And so now let's look at B. So if you add all the numbers up in B, you get 20. And that wouldn't work. But if you looked, you can actually divide 2,468 by 7. Because if we divide it, it'll give you a whole number. You can divide 4,848 by 4, and you will get a whole number. But if you cannot divide anything else than 2 for D, so our answer is D. The next question is, the LCM, or least common multiple, of 10 and 8 is the greatest common factor factor of 80 and what? So let's find the least common multiple of 10 and 80. So we know one multiple, common multiple can be 80 because if we multiply 10 and 8, we'll get you 80. But we want to see what whole number um, that, that what times 8 will get you a number that ends with a, a double digit number that ends with a zero. And if we notice 8 times 5 will get you 40, and that ends with a 0, and it's a double digit number. So 10 can go into it. So our least common multiple would be 40, but we're not done yet there. We have to find out 40 is the greatest common factor of 80 and what? So we can try 160, but if you notice, one, eight, one, for 160, 80 can go into 80, and 80 can go into 100 and 60 twice 2, so our greatest common factor would be 80. For 120, we can work, 120 would be the answer because that can work. And if we try out 100, it'll be just like 10 and 8. And so our answer will be B120. So now our next question is, at most, blank number of sca squares with a side length of 4 can fit inside a rectangle with an area of 2,000 with that of overlapping. So what we can do for this question is, because, an, because one side of a square is 4, the area of the square would be 
16. Because 4 times 4 is 16. And if we divide 2,000 by 16, it'll get you 125. And so that would be our answer, 125. So our answer is B. Now you guys try these questions and put your answers in the comments below. What percent of a three hour concert will I see if I watched 18 minutes of it? A, 6%, B, 10%, C, 21%, D, 30%. The next question is, if an equilateral triangle has integer sides, its perimeter can't be A, 915, B, 615, C, 315, D, 115. Remember for this question, an equilateral triangle has the same number of the same number on every single side of the triangle. And a triangle always has three sides. So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.